Soapbox Engage is an online engagement tool set for organizations of all shapes and sizes looking to do online fundraising, event registration, advocacy, and a lot more. In our demo today, we're going to be focusing on one of our apps within Soapbox Engage called the Soapbox Donations app. So Soapbox Engage covers apps from online fundraising, events, e-commerce shopping, etc. And for this demo, we'll be focusing on the Soapbox Engage Donations app. Uh, this can be used for payments of all kinds. So organizations are using this for donations as well as pledges. A membership-based organizations are using this for membership, payment, dues, and a lot of other ways in which you can collect online payments for different types of campaigns that you might be having online. Soapbox Donations app allows you to be able to have pages that look great on desktops, tablet views, even smartphone views, which we'll show you today. So to get started, let's take a look at just a sample donation page we've got here. This is using our out-of-the-box Soapbox Engage template. With our organizations that are using our templating services, we would be able to customize the design of the donation page to match the existing design of your website. So when a user goes from, say, your home page or a blog page on your website, they can also then come to a donation page or a payment page and still have a look the same as the brand and the identity that is on the rest of your website. So in this case, we're just using a standard uh, template that we've got. It's just got the logo here, which you could replace if you wish to do that. Down below, we have the title of the payment page or the donation page. And in this particular example, we just have some text on the left here and then a photo on the right. I mean, who doesn't love whales jumping out of the ocean? Uh, there's no limit, though, as to how much text or how many videos or photos you'd like to embed on your payment or donation page. In this case, we just have text on the left and a photo on the right, but you can move them around in a different order. You could add multiple photos. Whatever you wish, the top of the page, you can customize it to your heart's content. A little further below, we've got the information about the person who's making the contribution. So in this case, we've got the most basic fields required, first name, last name, and email address. But there are a variety of other fields that you can provide as well, as well as a couple of different custom fields you can add too. A little further down below, we've got the donation options. In this case, we just have one donation giving string here. So it's a set of three different predefined donation values that you can make as many as you wish of different values if you wish. And you can even change them to be words. So if you wanted the $10 to represent a bronze donation, the $30 to represent a gold donation, you can actually write the words gold level, silver level, bronze level, etc. Effectively, you can customize the labels that you want for your predefined donation values to help encourage people to give. And then, of course, you can have the other amount, which is just an open-ended donation level as well, too. You can choose to have these donations be a one-time donation or a recurring monthly donation. And in fact, our technology also supports, also supports the ability to have different ask strings for your contributions based on the frequency type selected by the donor. And you can rearrange these to be one stacked on top of the other or for the donations to be stacked vertically instead of horizontally as we see here today. A good example of this would be if you wanted to be able to have different predefined values for people that are giving one time versus people that are giving recurring and monthly, you can customize that within the donations app. A little further below, we've got this where would you like the funds to go option. Um, in this case, you can turn on or off this option to allow there to be a donors choose type functionality. So each of these donation pages that you would create would be related to a campaign in Salesforce if you're using Salesforce. And when you're doing that, you can also give your donors the opportunity on one donation page to choose from multiple campaigns in Salesforce that they could assign their contribution towards. So rather than having a Save the Blue Whales page and a separate Save the Whales page, this fictitious organization just has one donation page and then they're letting the donors choose which campaign would they want their funds to be contributed towards. So it's great for you if you want to have different strategies with different calls to action um, on individual donation pages, but you can also have one donation page that can cover a variety of different campaigns as well. A little further down below is the ability to turn on or off a dedication or tribute donation um, for folks that want to be able to provide that on their donation page. They can do that, um, and this shows you part of what we have from a UX belief on the Soapbox Engage team, which is um, 
we want to make sure that you're showing your users and your communities exactly the field they need to see exactly when they need to see it. So not until I check this box do I now see the um, tribute fields where I can choose in honor of or in memory of somebody, the name of the person, the organization to which this donation is going to be tributed, and then the name and the email address and the message for the person who should be notified of this tribute. All of these fields and a lot more are customizable for you to turn on or off on a donation page by donation page basis. A little further down below, we've got the payment area here. You can accept any major credit card. This integrates with five different payment gateways plus a six with PayPal. In fact, the PayPal option just happens to be turned off for this donation page. But standard PayPal as well as the PayPal credit card processing service are both supported by Soapbox Donations app here. If you've chosen a credit card, you can choose the credit card field, such as the, the name field, the credit card number field, the billing address information, just as you would expect from any other website collecting credit card information. A little further down below, you can put an outro or any sort of like footer information you'd want to have at the bottom of your donation page, and then you can click the Make the Donation button, which would fire off the next steps. The next steps that happen are pretty straightforward. When the donor clicks the Make Donation button, the donation goes to their to your credit card processing service, like say Braintree Payments or Authorize.net. It processes it, it confirms or denies the transaction based on the credit card banking service and the credit card information of the donor. If it comes back with a error, the errors will be presented here to the donor. If it comes back as a success, you then redirect the donor automatically to a page on your website, a page to any other website, or a thank you page that you can create customize within the Soapbox Donations app. Second, it can send an email confirmation to the donors if you wish to do that. And then third, it will go ahead and save the donor information in Salesforce, which I'll show you in a moment. One other important thing to note is that any of the system text here, so billing address, the street address field labels here, the secure payment text here, the contact information text you see here, any text at all is completely customizable by you on a donation page by donation page basis. This is really important for organizations that might be using the donations app for different functionality, say membership payments versus an online donation or online contribution. To say donation would be really funny, or rather odd, if you're trying to collect a payment for dues, and said you would say membership options, for instance, or membership levels. The other thing that this comes important um, to use is for multilingual content. So if your audience is speaking languages other than English, such as um, a Spanish-speaking audience, you'd be able to customize every field and every piece of text here to be in Spanish as well, too. So let's get back to what happens after somebody clicks the Make Donation button. One of the actions that happens is the data goes into Salesforce. When it goes into Salesforce, we follow um, the rules of the flavor of Salesforce that you happen to be using. So organizations are typically using the Enterprise Edition of Salesforce and maybe the Nonprofit Starter Pack. Maybe it's a Finiquest, different flavors of the Nonprofit Starter Pack. All of that is supported by our Soapbox Engage tools so that when somebody makes the donation, the data comes into Salesforce, the donation is represented by an opportunity record in Salesforce, and all the fields related to it are already pre-populated, filled, and saved the moment the transaction happens. There's no need to wait for a sync overnight. There's no need to wait for the data to move back and forth. This is happening the moment after somebody makes the donation. We're collecting things like the amount. We're able to say what the close date was. A campaign in Salesforce represents the donation page in Soapbox Engage, so you can then compare how successful you are between different pages in case you want to do A-B testing. So this is related to the donation campaign, campaign record in Salesforce. You're able to track the source, which would be from the web. And then any payment information that you get from the payment gateway, such as the type of credit card, the transaction ID, transaction description, etc., as well as any of the custom fields you may have filled out as well too, or the donor may have filled out. Finally, there is a contact role, which is the person who made the donation and their account is then related to this donation record. So really important to note, when a donor comes and makes a donation, the Soapbox Engage packages go ahead and check to see if this donor already exists in your Salesforce instance. 
it's matching on their first name, last name, email address, mailing address information, a number of different fields. And when that data comes in, it tries to match them to an already existing contact. If that contact exists and if they're matched, terrific. Don't create duplicate data. We just go ahead and match the existing contact to this new donation. If they don't exist, great. We'll create a new contact following the contact creation model and the lead conversion model that your particular flavor of Salesforce uses, and all the data ends up in the right place right away. You don't have to do anything about it. And best, let's say that somebody um, is putting their data in on the donation page, and it's a fuzzy match. So a fuzzy match could be something like uh, Robert Smith is in the database, but somebody just made a donation as Bob Smith. If it's a fuzzy match and it's almost the same, the system is smart enough to know we think it's this person, but we're not sure if it's 100% this person. So we'll send an email to an administrator on your team to confirm that we need a human being to check this out to make sure that this Bob Smith is the same thing as the Robert Smith in your database. So all that's happening within milliseconds between the Soapbox Engage system and Salesforce to make sure your data ends up in Salesforce in the right place following the rules of your flavor of Salesforce, including the nonprofit starter pack. So let's take a look at how things get set up inside Soapbox Engage itself. Soapbox Engage is something that you can log into its administrator from any web browser anywhere in the world. When you log into the Soapbox Engage administrator, you're able to go ahead and see a control panel that includes a list of your most recent donation pages. So you can see the donation pages here. You've got the ability to customize the URL. So what's it going to look like at the end of the, the URL for that donation page, as well as being able to view the donation page and editing it. You can also view all the donation pages you had or create a new one right away from the headquarters control panel here. So let's look at one donation page in particular. So when you go to create or edit a donation page, you've got a variety of different tabs here. These tabs include the basics all the way through to the integration in Salesforce, and you can customize these on a donation page by donation page basic basis, as well as setting default values. So if you ever want to be able to just say, I want to have the same starting values that I have for all of my donation pages, you can select that. And additionally, you can clone or duplicate any existing donation pages. So if you're just doing some A-B testing, who wants to go through the process of fully recreating a donation page when you've already done that? You just want to change one or two elements. Well, you can use the copy functionality that we have to copy an existing donation page and all of its configuration related to it, and then make sure that it is shown properly uh, when you create the new donation page. So under the basics tabs, we've got, as you'd expect, the basics, the title of the page, the URL that you can customize, is it published or not, ability to set test transactions, a lot of things that you can do the basic overview of the page as well as testing to make sure it's working properly. A little further down below, we've got the page intro, and this is where you can embed photos, videos, text, align it uh, to your heart's content, and then the page outro, what shows up at the bottom of the page. What I like to highlight here is that across the Soapbox Engage apps, you've got this button that says customize headings and labels. This is where you can dive into the nitty gritty of a donation page or really any functionality within Soapbox Engage. So in this case, you can see that you can change the submit button text that shows up at the button at the bottom of the page. The button class, in case you want it to be a different color or size or shape. Um, the text that you want to have for the newsletter sign up description as well as even the minutia of what do you want the required message language to say on the page. So lots of great details there, especially useful when you're, when you're doing a multilingual page. On the contact info tab, we're just showing you some of the main contact fields. Uh, you've got the ability to turn on or off and the same functionality here with the customized headings and labels to determine what is the label and what's the content for that contact collection section, as well as custom fields for the donation pages. The next section, this is probably the one that has the most meat in it, is the Payments tab. So under the Payments tab, you've got a couple of key functionalities. First, setting up payment frequency. So you can go ahead and say, what's the frequency amount options? What is the selector? So to choose recurring or one time, uh, where do you want that selector to be ordered? Customize headings and labels for this as well. 
and then you can break out separately what are the different payment values you want for one-time payments versus recurring payments, and then what are those different values. So in this case, it was the same, $10, $20, and $30, and both of them we wanted to show horizontally, and both of them we wanted to show the custom amount field. A little further down below, we've got all of the tribute and dedication fields. So here's the in honor of or in memory of functionality, and then you can show or hide a number of different fields here. Same functionality options for the customized headings and labels section too. On the right hand side for the billing information, this is where you can show major credit cards. You can determine whether or not you want to enable the PayPal button, as well as your PayPal email address, tax exemption, etc. And again, the customizing of headings and labels for this, all the way down to do you want to show the payment lock uh, graphic, uh, and then every bit of text for every field that's listed here as well too. The next option is the messages option. So this is where we determine what people get after they, what happens to the user after they make a donation. So the first part is being able to customize the email. The email that's sent, you can change the from name and the from email address. And you can even CC or BCC anybody else that should get this confirmation. Setting the subject line as well as being able to create the body text for the email in which you can go ahead and add merge fields like the donor's name, amount, and a variety of other different fields. A little further down below, what happens after somebody makes a payment? Do you want them to go to a custom URL, like a URL on your website? Or would you like them to go to a thank you page that you can create directly within Soapbox Engage, where again, you can embed uh, custom merge fields as well too. Finally, we've got the Integrations tab. The Integrations tab right now is really focused on integrating with Salesforce. You can choose whether or not this donation page is a Donors Choose campaign, where you show different campaigns that can be related to this one donation page. So you can turn that on or off. You can go ahead and set what the Donors Choose uh, label would be. And then you've got the ability to go ahead and select the different campaigns in Salesforce this would be related to. So by clicking this Select button, you can then see all of the campaigns in Salesforce and then choose which ones you want to be affiliated with this donation page. And better yet, if you're quickly making a donation page and you're in the run of play and you've forgotten, oops, I forgot to make a campaign in Salesforce first, no worries, directly within Soapbox Engage, you can create a new campaign in Salesforce and automatically have this donation page related to it. So that's the Soapbox Engage Donations app. Hope you enjoyed the tour. If you want to learn more, please come to www.soapboxengage.com. Thanks for watching.